So this is a piece of software called Descript. And what Descript is a video editor. And you can see that right here is a piece of video. And you can sort of see along the bottom, here's the scrubby timeline. So for any of you who've ever played with a video piece of software, like video editor before, it's going to look pretty similar. But you're going to see something a little bit odd here. You'll see those neat words along the top here, along the timeline. And you'll see right here on the left side, here is the script of the document. And you're like, okay, how did this get here? So what I did is I took a video file and I uploaded it into the software. And then what it did immediately is fire it up into machine translation. So do the transcription. And this transcription is, let's be honest, not that great, but it's good enough. Because what it does is it takes away all the hard parts of doing the rough video editing. This isn't something you're gonna create a movie with, but if you need to make an edit on a webinar, if you just wanna make something like pull out a clip from a larger video, this gives you this really powerful tool because what you get to do is you clip, you just jump through the text by clicking on a word and it jumps to that part in the video. And that becomes really powerful because you're, you can say, oh, actually this section here where we started at the Q&A or where they, or the speaker stumbled for wanting to say, I don't want that. So, so she's got this line here about a little bit more about me. I'm just gonna highlight that and click delete, and it disappears directly from the video. So this is a really powerful way for you to do some very quick and dirty things with the video. The other thing that's powerful about having a script is you can go here and say, I want to remove the filler words. And so it's got like this list of filler words. You can see here's all the uses of them. And you're like, oh, actually, I don't want to have any ums in my video. So what you do, is you just go down to the bottom here, click and say, I would like to delete all of those, but all. Boom. Everything in the video has just been cut. So now you'll come through here and just say, So welcome everybody. I am Sandra Amer and I'm your local TechSoup Connect host, which is a program of TechSoup. TechSoup Connect is the global. So we're like, okay, that's great. I like that. But I can say like, here's a section I don't want. So I'm just going to say, and I also on the side do consulting for small businesses and nonprofits. I want to get rid of, I didn't, instead of her just saying, I want to do consulting. I also on the side do consulting for small businesses and nonprofits. You're like, what if I just want to get rid of the small business part? And so she just does consulting for nonprofits. Because maybe that's the audience here. So I'm just going to cut that out of the text. And now let's start playing that. Also on the side, do consulting for nonprofits and as well as a whole bunch of training. I am also... The and then she also has a whole bunch of where she just trails off. I'm just going to cut that part too. So I do consulting for nonprofit. I am also the national, currently the national. And then you're currently, I'm like, I currently didn't value, add anything there. Delete. Word currently, now gone from the video. Also the national president for the one. The, the Nash, let's just get rid of, because you'll see she stumbled there. She said the Nash. So I'm just like, cut that out. Profit. I am also the national president for the One Parent Families Association. Lovely, really clean. So now we, you can go really deep and in depth with this by like cutting words, moving things around like you could, but, or you could just, just do wild edits. The other nice thing you can do is sometimes there's just like gaps in a webinar or something like that. And so what you can do is say, I want to just find anywhere where there's say like a two second gap. Oh, there's two of them here. Let's just find one. I'll just click it and it'll show me that little section. The life has well, like, well, this was really helpful. The charity. So there wasn't really much there. So what we could just do is take those gaps and I'm just going to delete them. Boom. So you can pull out any kind of gaps or longer sections of silence, like maybe when you were advancing a slide and so it took a moment and there wasn't any audio there. And so that is really descript at its heart, which is you can edit text and it will cut edit the video. You can also, of course, do it from the timeline. So you say like, oh, there's this gap here. I just want to shorten that and move that to right here. You can do it that way as well. And then when you're ready to go live, you just click publish and go into export 
And you have a number of options here. You can just export it as an MP4 file. You could also add subtitles to the video from the script. You could automatically add subtitling to your file. Or if you work with professional video editors, you can take this rough edit and export it as like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Edition or files like that. So that way you can like basically give them working files where they could then continue to do their editing. I find it super powerful. It's $10 a month to subscribe. I find it ridiculously useful for the work I do and I'm delighted to pay. It also has built in you know, a screen recording software. So it's another way for you to basically record your screen and then do again some little edits. But there's, of course, a lot of other software which does that stuff as well. That was great. Oh, I, uh, so no, the, the question, Martin, so is there any way you can post the text of a video so those who watch the video can uh, click through a video? Yeah, so actually when there's a way for you to post that video so people can see the text. Can they click through that section? That's a good question. Let me take a look at that. So one thing you can do... Yeah, go ahead. No, I wanted to know the name. I'm oh, sorry, it's D script, D E S C. I'll put it in the chat actually, D script. So one thing you can do when you go to export, one of the versions of this is you can export as a page. So basically create a page and you will show the transcript on that page. And I'm not positive if it was is clickable, but let's find out. It may take a moment for us to load, so we might need to come back. But it looks like, yeah, here is, oh yeah, so you can hover through it. Yes, it would be exactly like to take that script, make that publicly available, and people can link, call, go through here. And in fact, when you go over here and hover this, you'll see it gives you the ability to copy a link. So you could send people to just one section. And say, so I want to give people a link that sends you just to this one sentence or, or paragraph of the script. Oh, wow. Man, I'm, I'm learning some great stuff myself. This is uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is uh, like, really, like, I love the idea where you can take away the ums from your the videos and, and, and just go through it. And it's just like a really simple form. And I love, because if you really want to get heavier, you can like export it to like a Final Cut or a Premiere Pro. So yeah, that's way too pro for me. And I definitely need to resist going down the rabbit hole of tweaking every sentence and making it just a little bit better. But if you just want to just like do the automatic thing, like just get rid of all, um, boom, good enough to get out into the world. It's a great, powerful tool that way. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. I'm going to check this out. I can, uh, oh yeah, I know. Right. I don't know how this is be, uh, useful for yeah, and if you're already producing longer videos, the other thing that's really interesting about Descript is you can just take a really, an interesting click. You're like, here's just one section and you can just like export just like a one paragraph of text. Um, and these can be used often on like on social media or for other promotional uses. So here's one interesting clip from a larger piece, which you can then render out. You can also name it, subtitle it. Again, you could go really crazy or you could just keep it don't do too much work. But definitely, I would say worth playing with, free to use. You only get, I think, about five hours of transcription with the free version. But once they've done, they're going to charge you uh, 10 bucks a month or five bucks a month if you're a nonprofit.